Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're actually going to be trying something new and that is my history project. Anyways guys, let's get on with the video. Today we're actually going to be talking about why the Mayan society is the best society. So for the government, it was a very monarchy, uh, hierarchical, you know, type of government. It's, it consisted of kings and priests ruling the whole Mayan civilization. But also, since warfare did play a really good role in the Mayans and stuff, um, they had no standing armies. Be Pretty crazy if you ask me. Now for religion, they followed a god and one god only. And that's Quetzal, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal Let's just call him Quetz. He arrived... They arrived in religion, according to Toltec mythology, Quetzal demanded human hearts, which means that they were really evil. The Toltecs obeyed by conducting mass human sacrifices. Weird. The Toltec's cultural influence on the Mayans in Yucatan was pro profound, and their architectural influence are evident in Chichen Itza. Although the Toltecs mixed with the Mayans and other groups, their culture eventually dominated the area. Anyways, let's line up the mood with arts and culture. Now for arts and culture, they built a lot of temples surrounding their beliefs and their gods. Now there's already, there's a dumb clip on online uh, depicting as what it can be a girl trying to climb up a temple. And the power there, the, the, the energy there is very strong. Watch this. Woman climbs Mayan pyramid. Originally, false stories were circulating online saying that this woman had climbed up this Mayan pyramid to spread her husband's ashes. But the truth is, nobody really knows why she decided to climb up. Yeah, they were really serious about their religion. So anyways, so they created a lot of temples and palaces in a stepped uh, pyramid shape, decorating them with elaborate beliefs and inscriptions. These structures have earned the Mayans their reputation as the greatest artist of Mesoamerica. Which is true, because if you've seen some of the Mayans art, it is just perfect, bro. Anyways, let's go on with environment, aka living conditions. <music> So many of the intriguing things about the Mayans was their ability to build a great uh, civilization on a tropical rainforest climate. Yes, they were living in the jungles and stuff. Traditionally, ancient people had been flourishing in drier climates, where the centralized management of water resources, the irrigation and other techniques formed the basis of society. However, there are more navigable, nav navigable, navigable navigable rivers for trade and transport as well as no obvious need for irrigation system because it rained a lot that's why it's called a rainforest now let's move on to science and technology so for the mayans they are very advanced more advanced than us they could they could be thinking no they thought of some ways how to tell time by using the environment instead of us using machines and stuff their scientific advances was powered by religion. So basically, God gave them a reason why to build all this stuff, which is pretty good. And also, the Mayans invented the year. Yes, it's pretty shocking, but they actually invented the complex calendar system that we use today. They also made books, too. The books wouldn't be like any other book where you just go like this. No, they were built like a brochure. And also, these books were intentionally made to fold out. So if you were lost on something, or if you got lost, or if you're trying to remember, you just fold it out and try it and see it, and you could eventually find it. Now, let's not talk about any more books, because we're talking about t scientific technology advancements. Now, what they were also famous for was uses of chocolate and rubber. Now, they were the first civilization to ever use that. Think about it. Not even the Egyptians were using rubber. They were just using pure sand and pure brute force. I guess you could say that the civilization 
was pretty advanced for their time. Now for the economy, like I said, they were credited with using chocolate and rubber. Now in that case, they used chocolate as currency. Basically, early Mayan states, city-states, produced all their items. Later on, as the Mayan cities began to grow, they outstripped their food production and food trade increased. Other basic necessities such as salt or stone tools were produced in certain areas and then traded to places that lacked them. They were producing to more areas that didn't have that much resources, which is a pretty smart move. In the golden age of the Mayans, the economy was so good that if it was put into modern that if it was put into modern day economy everyone would have been investing into chocolate anyways guys let's go to our last topic which is society so the society was very simple but yet strange um i guess you could say that the society was exactly or more like the same as egyptians most of the people in the society or in the Mayan civilization, civilization, um, they were mostly farmers and they would use the primitive slash and burnt agriculture. They also displayed advanced farming methods such as irrigation and terracing. And also they were the ones that created the Maya ball game, Ulma, U Ul Lama, yeah. They also had different types of things like plazas, and also pyramids, obviously, and temples. And they also had different states and cities. They had Tikal, Oaxacdun, Compan, Onampak, Dos Pilas, Calakmul, Palenque, and Rio Bec. Each city held a population between 5,000 and 50,000 people. But experts say that it actually grew up to 2 million or 10 million. But don't think that after the crash of Mayan civilization, Yes, after the Golden Age, they went down, they fell off. Mayan civilization did end, but not the people. The people that are derived from there, which is the indigenous people of Mexico, they never died. They never went extinct, obviously. The indigenous people of Mexico still have somewhat the blood of Mayans and other, like Aztecs and other things. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't give me a bad grade. Uh, okay, um, so yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, um, like and subscribe, I don't know, do whatever you want, and yeah, see you later, and see you in the next video.